I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. The not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven is not your problem. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love our videos, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get the app, get the app and donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps higher things, a youth organization which is all about passing that faith to the next generation. That's everything we do. The app, the videos, everything we do is about that faith being passed on, and our kids need that faith in these dark times. Not all saying, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven but only the ones doing the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say uh, uh, to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not um, uh, preach in your name? Cast out demons in your name? And in your name did we not do big works, and I will say to them, um, I never knew you. Get away from me, you workers of uh, anomion, uh, 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 lawlessness. He's in the zone today. Um, this text is often used for the opposite of comfort. The text begins with, beware of false prophets. That's the verse um, uh, above it. Uh, the bu above it begins with, beware of false prophets. Just so that you see this, there it is. Beware of false prophets. Um, and then goes into how false prophets dress like regular prophets, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. And you will know them by their fruits. This next section has the same referent, the false prophets, the ones that preach a different message other than Jesus Christ and him crucified. They can do all sorts of great works. They can do all sorts of magna ma magnificent sermons. The world may love them, but their message is a message other than the gospel. You see, the way you know a preacher, a faithful preacher, is you know him by the gospel he preaches, by the, by, by the faith that flows from his words. You know this because you know that everything is about, uh, everything should be about Jesus Christ and him crucified. Everything that we do, everything we preach in church is all about the gospel, all about the forgiveness of sins. And so you got to watch out for false prophets and everyone needs to do that um, because they steal from you the comfort. They steal from you the comfort of the forgiveness of sins. The, world, the world's churches are filled with uh, different preachers who tell you um, that God loves you if you do this, that God helps those who help themselves, that God wants you to have a, 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 a successful life, but, and here are the things that you need to do to do this, in which you are the one that is running the verbs. You are the one that is doing everything. You are the person who is working their way, and that tree ends in evil fruit because you, being the center of your religion, ends in no good works. Only the preacher of the gospel delivers Christ comfort, his Calvary one comfort, in such a way that it enlivens you to faith. That is the center of preaching. Paul does not say, I preach life change. He doesn't say, I preach people being better people. I preach that they have a, uh, no, he says, I came amongst you. I desired to know nothing amongst you other than Jesus Christ and him crucified. And in another uh, epistle, we preach Christ and him crucified. That is the central message of the Christian faith, which is more important than everything else. Okay? So you must recognize preachers, not by how they look, not by the name of the, of, of the church or their name, but by whether they comfort troubled consciences. Because only a free conscience can actually do love and service for their neighbor. Another Luther quote. 
you must hold on to the chief part, the summary of the Christian teaching and accept nothing else that God has sent and given Christ his son and that only through him does he forgive us of our sins and justify and save us. Then, if you open your eyes, you will see all sorts of differing solutions and ways of life, men and women, masters and servants, princes and subjects, rich and poor, and whatever stations and offices they may be in the world are so intertwined that nothing about them makes any special impression on me. But since I am so well grounded and know the chief part, which includes everything, my heart draws this conclusion that whether please God, I see a married person or a single person, a master or a servant, a learned man or a layman, gray clothes or red, fasting or eating, sour faced or smiling one, um, what do I care about that? In other words, the differences that I see amongst them are all identical to me. For I have come to the insight that a girl in a red coat or a prince in a golden sprangs can be no less a Christian than a beggar in his gray coat or a monk in his shirt and wool and hair. With this insight, I am safe against all kinds of outward masks. So I can recognize good works no matter where they are. Because I know the chief, the chief thing is Christ and him crucified. And no one's going to take my eyes off of that. And no one's going to distract me from that. Because I know the comfort, the comfort of the forgiveness of sins. You don't have to worry about the Lord, Lord problem because it pertains to preachers. You get to receive that gospel and judge the Spirit. Is that only about Jesus Christ and him crucified? Or is that about me? Is that about the forgiveness of sins? Or is that about my works? When it's about me and my works and my change, not good fruit. If it's about the forgiveness of sins achieved by Jesus on the cross, good works of love and charity can't help but follow because Christ has saved me. Don't fret about Lord, Lord, and not entering the kingdom of God. Pray for your pastor. Pray for the preachers of the gospel that they, who have been given the awesome task of preaching the gospel, that they... They, the servants of God, would not lose their faith, lose their salvation, because they preach a different gospel other than Christ. I'm Pastor George Borkhart, Thor's already on patrol, and this has been another Higher Things video short.